Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today we're going to be doing the daily reading for February 11th, 2021. And yes, today is the new moon in Aquarius. Sorry I talked so slowly there. I was trying to organize uh, <laughs> organize all of my speech. It is the new moon in Aquarius today. I definitely recommend if you have not yet that you check out the new moon video, which was posted last week, I believe it was, uh, sometime uh, fairly recently. That is going to go over in more depth the incredible astrology that we have going on today. And we have been building up to this energy all week. And so we have been feeling it. Today is the, just the pinnacle or the climax of all of that energy, if you will. And uh, we are doing the new moon manifesting ceremony. I forgot to mention that in the new moon video. This Mercury retrograde has me all twisted up in so many ways. Uh, cancel clear delete but you know it, it is what it is we work with it we go with it we flow with it but yes we are doing that I will have the link I put it in the new moon video even though I forgot to mention it during the video I'll also put the link to the it's uh the events listed on Facebook so I'll put the link to that below if you guys want to join if you do want to join uh please uh, if you can go and register sooner rather than later uh we do have to uh or uh, my mentor beth that i do it with a few people and she's one of those people she does have to go through and email it the link for the zoom meeting to each individual person so it takes a little bit of time and it gets a little bit chaotic when it's coming in right at right at the end of the wire there um so what if you're watching this and you're deciding you want to participate in that um please do that when you send your payment it's ten dollars when you send your payment through send your email as well so she knows where to send the link to i forgot to tell people that last time and it created a little bit of confusion there uh so yes definitely um send your email as well we go through during that i talk about the astrology a little bit we have uh, a beautiful, beautiful Helena who do, who sings and brings in the energy and shifts the energy with her song. And then we have Jake who does an amazing uh, shamanic ceremony to call in the directions and close out the directions at the end. And then Beth leads us through a series of releases and downloads for different beliefs and different feelings and things like that. It's a, a theta healing thing. And then we go into the uh, the theta healing manifestation ritual, which is really, really powerful. And this new moon is all about manifesting. Every new moon is, but this one, we have such potent manifestation energy the air is so charged with all of this aquarius energy all of this fresh new energy it really is i saw i was watching a video from from another youtuber and she was talking about how this is essentially like the astrological new year as far as all of these planets in the sign of aquarius together for this new moon it's pretty potent stuff and it really is sort of like the new age, right? Because we're moving into that age of Aquarius. So we can see the stellium in Aquarius and this new moon in Aquarius really setting the tone and shifting us into that vibe and that energy for this new earth and this new age. So it's going to be really powerful. I'm really looking forward to it as I always do. And I'm really looking forward to doing this video for you guys today. It is very appropriate that the galactic signature for today is the blue resonant storm energy. And this is, of course, a day that's ruled by the throat chakra and guided by magic. And so this blue resonant storm energy, we're familiar with the blue storm energy because we are in the blue storm year. And for those of the blue uh, lunar storm year. And for those of you who haven't seen that video, it's in the portals and gateways playlist. It talks about the overall arching energy of this galactic year, which is that blue lunar, blue lunar storm energy. And so in today we have the blue resonant storm energy. And which is very similar. So this blue storm energy is all about being the catalyst of change that we want to see in the world. So we see how this ties in very well with this manifesting energy. It's the energy of self-generation. It's that energy of really being that electric storm. Like instead of getting caught in the storm, we become the storm. We center ourselves in the eye of the storm, in the eye of the chaos. And from that still place, we can then direct the energy and direct the chaos. And with this blue resonant storm energy, it's really cool because the blue, the resonant tone is all about channeling, inspiring and attunement. So it's really this day is about channeling energy 
commanding and channeling the energy around us, inspiring others, being inspired, right? It's a day that's ruled by magic. So really being inspired and inspiring, channeling that magic. And with the attunement piece, this talks about how we generally attune to, we, uh, vibration attunes to the strongest vibration in its surroundings. And so today we are being invited to become that strongest vibration in the reality around us and to be the force that shifts the vibration in every room, in every situation we enter and entrains it to our frequency, to that higher frequency. That is what the blue resonance storm energy does is it, it really holds the power of frequency and wields the power of resonance and attunement in the most beneficial way, of course. So the affirmation for today is, I channel in order to catalyze inspiring energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of magic. And as I said, we're not getting too deep into the astrology because that new moon video is posted for that. However, I will, I will mention that we also, in addition to all this all of this this energy one of the highlights is that uh jupiter and venus conjunction and and that jupiter and venus conjunction being supported by saturn and really all of the planets in that stellium of aquarius but these three uh nestled together in that sign of aquarius particularly are very beneficial for relationships there's a lot of really strong relationship energy in the air this truly has been a make it or break it time for relationships uh so for those who are in a relationship who that is surviving this Mercury retrograde and all of this powerful energy, all of these powerful conversations that Venus has been having, this is a day to really be able to connect. It's a day, they call it the most romantic day of the year, right? So it's that beautiful energy of um, coming together with another, supported by that structure and that stability of Saturn. So all of this optimism, all this positivity when it comes to romance, when it comes to our relationships, also when it comes to finances and beauty beauty and all the other things that Venus represents, right? Um, our, that energy is being expanded and uplifted by Jupiter, and then it's being stabilized by Saturn. So that's a really beautiful energy to play with today. We do have that square coming in from Uranus, Uranus squaring Saturn securely. And then of course, because Saturn is in this, uh, connected in the stellium, which also includes Mercury, the sun and the moon, as well as Paulus, um, uh, because it, it affects the whole stellium but this square from uranus is uh really interesting uranus of course being the plant the ruler of aquarius which really just amplifies that aquarian energy um it can make us want to possibly be a little bit reckless and so we want to look out for that especially with mercury in retrograde like making these snap decisions and judgments uh when it comes to relationships especially when it comes to all of those venusian things relationships finances um uh, just aesthetics in general, the way that we look, the things that we value, like this could be a time where we're, we're feeling very motivated to change our hairstyle or get a new tattoo or do anything, just shake it up. You know what I mean? And so like shake it up if you want to, but also like be aware that you may change the way you feel about what it is that you are doing. So like if it's been something that you've been wanting to do for a long time, this may be that great impetus to do that. If it's something new that just comes into your mind, maybe wait off, hold off on that, at least until the end of Mercury retrograde. That would just be the recommendation. Of course, we don't stop living our lives when Mercury goes retrograde. It happens three times a year for uh, like three weeks, right? So that that's a long, that's a lot, that's a lot of time to be putting our lives on hold, but we do want to be thinking things through much more carefully during this time. All right, so we're going to start with some work your light cards for this beautiful, clear, new moon in Aquarius, the 11th of February. What do you have for us? Thursday, February 11th. What guidance is coming through from the work your light deck? Okay, that was <laughs> rather dramatic. So we have the star mother. How can you mother yourself? So really caring for ourselves today, really nurturing and loving ourselves with all of this Venusian energy, all of this, this Venus Jupiter energy. Um, we can really uh, filter that into like, how are we loving ourselves? How are we nurturing ourselves? And really bring that into the focus, really fall more deeply in love with ourselves today. 
which is a very, very beautiful energy. And remember, like, if we are not, if we do not deeply love ourselves, it's relationships on the outside be very, can be very, they be very challenging. <laughs> so, um, you, we want to, we want to just, just be aware of that and really look at that and look at ourselves through that, like through that unconditional love that a mother has for a child. Right. And just know and understand that that's how source looks at us. Right. Source is our our overarching mother. Right. And so and so spirit looks at us, our guides, our angels, they look at us like we are. We are sources, children. And so that kind of love is the love that source has for you. And so if you can reflect that love back to yourself today, that above all else is going to make a huge, huge difference. So I know we have Valentine's Day coming up and all of that. And so there may be people with all of this optimistic love energy. There may be people going through breakups right now with all of this intensity in the sky. We're just like kind of bumming out like, oh, great. The most romantic day of the year right before Valentine's Day. Like awesome. You know, um, but it like, let's shift our perspective and let's look at like the ways that we can give that love, like the love that we wish we could receive from a partner. How can we give that love to ourselves? That's what I'm really, that's what I'm feeling. And how can we just take care of ourselves <clears throat> in any way, any way, like think about, uh, think about when you, when you were, when you were homesick from school or something, if you were fortunate enough to have a mother who was around for that. Um, and sort of the way that they loved and nurtured you and just care for yourself that way. Feed yourself, um, take care of your body, nourish yourself, whatever that means for you today. Like they, um, and this is, oh, I never, I didn't even put this together. This is a star mother. So when we're talking about, um, we're talking about source as our mother and, and just the, the, the different and versions of mother that go beyond and beyond. That's very, very relevant. So um, nurture yourself and know that you're a nurturing source. Like if you love and connect deeply with spirit, understand that show that love to yourself because you are spirit. And when we nurture and love ourselves, we are nurturing spirit because spirit is created us to experience the world through our eyes. All right. And then we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So a lot of that resting and um, caring for the self energy, that self care energy, huge today, absolutely huge. It's always huge, but it's this is two cards back to back, and this isn't. This is deep replenishment. So really look at the ways that you can deeply replenish yourself. Check in with yourself. How am I doing? Am I feeling like I'm overextended? Am I feeling drained? And even if you're not still rest and replenished, because I'm feeling big energies coming through for us today, right? It is an 11 day as well. It's just a lot of potent energy. And so we want to, we've got all the twos, the ones and the zeros for those who have been following um, with this, this coding sequence, right? So this is going to be a big day, possibly like a portal like day. So really care for yourself deeply today. And then we also have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. And so this is for people who've been going through a lot of shifts, a lot of changes, a lot of that unpredictable Uranian energy hitting you. Um, just understand that whatever is going on in your life is happening for your benefit right now. You may not understand why, but it absolutely is. The things that are that are that are being shaken up, that are being changed, are being changed for a reason to move us more deeply into resonance with ourselves and resonance with our path. So just no one understand that today. If if you are sort of feeling that chaos. Yeah. It's all one day we will understand, right? And for now we can just be grateful and we can trust that everything is happening out for our benefit. Then we have get grounded, empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. So grounding, connecting with nature with all of this high vibrational energy pouring in, we definitely want to stay grounded. We want to stay scented, um, scent, scented. <laughs> maybe if scents make you feel good and they connect you, utilize some earthy scents, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, watery scents for some reason I'm feeling coming through too, right? Water is very cleansing. Um, but yeah, really connect with nature, get yourselves grounded, really shield your energy today. I'm feeling like that's why there's a lot of this retreat energy going on. It's like pull yourself out of the chaos, whatever, if there is chaos unfolding around you, pull yourself out of the energies of other people and really just sink and center into your own energy today, because that's going to be really helpful. There's, we're going to have plenty going on with our own energy and it's rough because today is the most romantic day of the year, right? But, um, honestly, like care for yourself. 
care for yourself first. Um, if you and if you are in partaking in all of that romance today, then just like like retreat together. You know what I mean? Like just be in that in that uh, space with each other and just pull back from the rest of the world because. The, the, it's you just there's so much going on with your energy right now we're receiving so much and so we really don't want especially those of us who are empathic we don't want to be pulling in everybody else's energy too because that's just too much uh especially in these times of great shifting and changing people are reacting to these changes in a lot of different ways this aquarian energy is incredible but it's electric it's it's uh it's uranian right and so is people react to that and People react to change in lots of different ways. And so we just want to remember that. And we don't want to be connecting to that collective energy too deeply. The collective heart, yes. But not the collective energy and sort of the fluctuations of that. And then we have play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. So really try to take a lighthearted approach today. Um, which may be easier said than done with some of the intensities of the energy. But I am feeling, even though we have, a, for some of us have a lot of shocking changes going on. And it's kind of like life is rocking our boat right now in one sense or another. It's like, I think that we can sense that it is for the higher good. And as we're moving into this new moon today, it's like the energy has been getting lighter and lighter. Even if chaos has been erupting around us and unexpected things have been happening. And these are both good and bad. Unexpected blessings as well as unexpected expected um lessons right but as all of this has been shifting but even blessings can be overwhelming sometimes right because it's still change so with all of that though i feel like we've been having this more lighthearted energy towards it it's just naturally the energy is feeling really light and so it's take advantage of that celebrate play think about the the things that are going spectacularly think move into that attitude of gratitude what is amazing in my life right now what can i celebrate what do what is what am i bringing in right with this manifesting energy really celebrate the things that you're creating today whether they're whatever stage of the process that creation is in and that's going to really pull that energy in towards you and it's just going to help you really get into the zone for this today like we want to suspend all of those heavy thoughts and and just really sink into this space of expectation and excitement. And that's really going to supercharge this manifestation energy. We have the birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming the world into being. So this is what we're doing every day, right? But with all of this Aquarian energy going on right now, with this really gateway, I feel almost like we're entering into right now. Like we are, our thoughts and our dreams are manifesting that new reality powerfully today. So really think about what is the world that I want to create? What is the world that I want to live in? What is the world that we are moving toward? And really fantasize with that and have fun with that and play with that today. As though you are already living it because really you are. It's all a perspective and a state of mind. We can tap into that new world anytime we want. We get to live in that new world when we decide we want to right? It's all a choice. And so the more we play, the more we move into this energy, the more we nourish ourselves, the more we stay grateful, the more we pay attention to what's resonating around us and what's not and what our energy is entraining to and what we want our energy to entrain to. And the more we take ownership of our own energy till we become like that blue resonant storm energy, the energy that other energy is in training to, right? That's the ultimate goal. But I mean, until then, it's like paying attention to what our energy is in training to. And like, we can entrain to this fifth dimensional energy and we can experience that reality now, right? It's all up to us. And then we have the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. And that is coming up with the mirror energy. Who or what is triggering you? And so this is the energy, right? This is that, uh, the flip side of the coin, that energy as we are possibly and have been presented with triggers. And so we're, we're noticing them. We're asked, being asked to pay attention to them. We're being asked to what, um, to pay attention today to what is being mirrored back to us when we are being triggered, because that's teaching us something very important about ourselves. So just staying aware of that energy as well today and always as we move through it. And yeah, you've been training for this for lifetimes, for this, this, for this moment, for this incarnation where we are here together birthing this new earth. Everything has been preparing us for this, 
right? And so this is all, this is, right, brings in that energy of remembering again. Today it may be a day where people step more deeply into remembrance of who they are and why they're here, which is really, really beautiful. And honestly, we are here to help shift into this new earth, but we do that by being in the vibration of joy and bliss, of unconditional love, right? That's how we shift it with our vibration. And so some people are understanding more deeply their purpose, but part of what I feel like we're starting to understand as we understand our purpose more deeply is that at the end of the day it's all about play it's all about joy it's all about bliss if we are in our joy and our bliss we're naturally living our path right we're living our purpose we're living our passion because we're going toward what resonates with us we're doing the things that we enjoy and those are the things that were pre-programmed within us to awaken us to bring us into this state of bliss which then brings the planet into the state of bliss so we're really seeing how it's not as heavy as we thought and it's way easier than we thought it was just follow your bliss that's it that's all we have to do and the rest just naturally unfolds and so i like the ever unfolding rose right and then transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing yeah a lot of a very portal-esque type of energy today uh so so with all this deep healing, that's why the rest and the nourishment is coming through so strong and why it is so important today. So really, really take heed of that. And um, yeah, just take heed of that and care for yourselves. Drink lots and lots of water. Get the rest that you need. Go out in nature if you can. Play, but play in like that fun, lighthearted way that's not super taxing on the body, I guess. <laughs> And then we also have on the bottom of the deck, Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. We are seeding the light, right? And what does that mean? That means that we are grounded, we are rooted, we are anchored into the earth, and that light is moving through us as these beautiful divine channels of energy. And through us, seeding into the earth we are seeding this new age right laying those foundations by following our divine plan the divine plan unfolds through us and it unfolds through our bliss through our joy through our ecstasy so really following that today which is really great with this venus jupiter energy it's really assisting in that we are laying that foundation. We are we are planting those little seeds that are going to grow into those beautiful trees, right? And those are seeds of light. These are these are like I see them as like trees of light reaching toward the sky and connecting. I, I don't know. It's just beautiful, beautiful imagery. So just play around with that beautiful imagery today. Know that that's what we're doing, but that that light that we're seeding is that joy. More than anything else, just joy and bliss coming through and i'm really feeling it i hope you guys are feeling it while we're talking about it that energy it's so incredibly beautiful so just whatever you're doing today just hold that energy within you call upon that energy and really allow that energy to flow and that is how we channel we become these channels these uh blue storm channels right that are shifting and affecting the energy everywhere we go spread that bliss spread that joy spread that love everywhere you go today i love you guys i appreciate you so very very much maybe i'll see some of you guys on the new moon manifesting ritual later tonight 6 30 est uh the link for that will be down below as i said if you do register please do so asap and send your email along with your with your ten dollar donation so that uh beth can get that link right out to you i love you i appreciate you whatever you do today and however you do it do it with love do it with joy and do it with the intent, that intent, right? All right, love, love, love.